Hi, today I'll be talking about the uh, the boot ini uh, or the BCD which is on Windows 10 because um, as I showed you previously that my laptop was u booting uh, where I only wanted to boot from one OS and it was showing another entry. Um, I'll just go into a little bit more detail about um, the boot ini or the BCD which is the boot configuration data on Windows 10 because it doesn't use Win boot in anymore. So um, there is a tool which is for free download which is Easy BCD, EBCD which gives you a, a quick fix to the boot, boot in or the BCD should I say. It's a really nice tool here. One of the must-haves that you probably want to keep on your drive or your key to um, to uh, use. So um, here we we have the boot any menu here. So I'm going to take this from one extreme to the other where here's the boot any here. This is the entry because I have only one entry at the moment. I can have two if I wanted to. So I can add it here under new entry. I can say I want to say for example Windows 7 and I can say add here then go back in there and now I've got two entries here one and two save the settings and it will now boot with two entries now um, in this scenario I don't want two I only want one and um, if any one of you guys having issues with the um, booting off Windows 10 um, you can edit it while you're using this tool within Windows. Now, for example, if crisis strikes and um, we go into the reset boot configuration and say reset that, and it's going to reset it now, and it says all entries have been deleted from my BCD, edit there, and there's nothing there. Now, um, one way to fix this is to go into add new entry give it a name that this is the entry I want drive it once C drive add it in and then it'll come back again and your booting is fine or the BCD is okay where scenario by whereby you would have a booting which is, which is corrupt for example and here there's nothing in there um, so what we can do if, if if we haven't done it via the easy BCD and the booting is corrupt and we can say oh it says that it's been detected that no entries are in the boot any or the BCD uh, if you restart your computer it will not boot up so let's do that we're going to boot up your PC and make sure it doesn't boot up so let's see what happens uh, now we're booting up right now um, I do have a uh, Windows 10 drive as well connected USB drive but um, in a scenario whereby you would see this screen because obviously it's not going to boot up and it's complaining that I can't boot because in my BCD file I can't see any operating system so effectively your data is all there everything is there but as soon as Windows tries to load to understand where the files are to boot from those, that particular path is missing now so it doesn't know where to go so it's coming up with an error boot BCD and it says that the boot configuration data which is obviously the file it doesn't contain any valid information for the operating system so what we'll do now is we're going to reboot this machine again control delete in this case we will require the Windows 10 installation disk um, and we'll press F12 to go into the boot menu we'll boot from um, USB once we're booting from USB we will have to go through the, uh, the repair process and see how that goes and then from there we'll figure it out so at the moment it's loading from the USB drive and we will work through that we'll focus hopefully when the machine starts 
Here we are. Yep. Okay, so we'll just have to click next to this particular window. And instead of install now, we'll click on repair computer. We'll be presented with more options now. So we'll say troubleshoot. We'll say command prompt. And at this point, we can either fix the master boot record, which in our pro case, we don't have a problem with the master boot record because we didn't mess around with the MBR, which is called the master boot record. What we did do is we pretty much deleted the BCD. So what I would do is type a command called uh, boot rec forward slash scan OS scanning for all the window installation files to make sure they exist that's all done and now we're just going to type another command called boot REC rebuild now after this rebuild BCD so what we're saying it to it is to the boot record we have we want to rebuild the BCD on it and that's what's going to do that now saying do you want to rebuild all of it in the boot list and you'll just have to say yes to that which is a all and that's done we can click on exit or just type exit and then it says turn off your computer so we're going to turn it off I'm going to turn it back on and fingers crossed we should see Windows 10 loading back again. Here we are. Windows 10 is now loading straight from the hard drive, um, not from the USB drive. So, which is which is a good thing because. loaded so if we open the BCD panel right now and we can see here that the edit boot is showing as that entry there so there's two ways of recovering this if you happen to have a corrupt boot in e or a corrupt BCD you can use it or recover it using the installation disk but if you are already in Windows 10, you could use this tool to play around with it or add more entries if you've got another operating system on another drive, for example, or if you've got another hard drive external and you want to add it in, you can tell it here where, where you want to and how it, you want to add it in because it would show up here, your drive letter and your drive. And it can be added as another drive or another um, operating system using this method so it's a really nice nifty little utility here I haven't used much of it but um, yeah you can see that I've been, I've been t 
you know adding it in so it's actually showing more and more ad entries right now so we don't want this and we don't want this either this one here we don't want that we just want to keep this one as, as it before as it was before great so um i hope you enjoyed watching this video and um and i hope this helps because i was working on this laptop for a while and it's it came up with this booting issue or the bcd issue on windows 10 and um, i was just trying to get my head around how it's actually going to work because usually on windows 7 it's fairly easy and xp was easy as well but um, the new operating system has new challenges and you just have to learn a lot more but anyway thanks for watching if you have any questions happy to comment please do subscribe and I'll be publishing more videos as I go along on various other technical things. So, yeah, stay tuned. Until ne next time. Bye for now. <laughs>